Okay, that's more reasonable. It's enough room to maneuver around this. Ugh. traffic accidents. And lately I really haven't had a lot of time to play games. Um, usually this time of year is not good health wise for me. I have a lot of joint issues and cold weather just doesn't work well. And I tend to miss sleep because I'm in pain, and you know that means daytimes when I should be awake and doing stuff, I'm really not feeling uh, feeling it all. Uh, so 59, uh, we can keep going. And it gets to the evening, and I really don't feel like streaming or anything else much at that point. Okay, I'm going to turn it this way, run along this edge of the field. And then we'll run along the near enough east-west edge. Maybe I'll turn around and do a, <coughs> do a return trip. There now. And drop that there. You hush, I know it's ten o'clock. Alrighty, okay, so that's this end's headland. No traffic, that's good. Again, another long cultivator that I really don't like. played any trucking for a good uh, probably getting on for about six months now I did a little bit of Train Sim World 2020 a while back But again, not something I've done much of lately. Go across the field here. One of the reasons I haven't been playing on uh, Arthur's Multiplay Fridays 
as frequently as I would like to because yeah it gets to nine o'clock in the evening I can barely keep my eyes open and I would like to uh, yeah, produce a Lawfolds video on Saturday mornings and that doesn't happen if I sleep in till 11 o'clock so uh, kind of need to get an early night to do to facilitate that now, if father does a six o'clock start, then that's less of a strain on me. Uh, his timings can be kind of random. Okay, this should work. Gonna run this up and down the east west cardinal and uh, fill in as I can the wedges on each side. <coughs> There are a lot of wood piles on this map, I must admit. And the occasional wooden fence that gets in the way. Yeah, back when I started playing World of Tanks, World of Warplanes <coughs> was just a bad game. Now I understand World of Warplanes 2 came out, and while it looked kind of interesting, it was a case of, no, I'm too invested in World of Warships, um, I don't need another game like that. I'd already tried playing... Um, World of Tanks, World of Warships, and Armored Warfare all at the same time, and it was just a case of, yeah, I don't need to be playing too many games of the same style. It's kind of watching TV shows. I don't... I'm not a fan of watching lots of the same type of genre shows. Now, if one gets cancelled then I don't mind moving to a similar show. So I used to watch House, which meant I didn't watch Grey's Anatomy, I didn't watch any of the other hospital shows because I watched House and that's enough hospital shows for me to be watching. Um, you know, if I watched a legal drama, then I would watch one, not multiple. I watch NCIS, I do not watch NCIS Los Angeles, New York, New Orleans, whatever they all were. But, uh, I watched CSI from the beginning. I dropped that towards the end, but I didn't watch any of the other CSI um, shows because I don't need lots of the same type of show. I still like to vary what I'm watching. And it's kind of the same with games. You know, I'll play one RPG, I'll play one space game, I'll play one city builder, I'll play one um, 
tactical game. But I won't play three or four at once. I'll complete one and then move on to another one. So, yeah, I'll play XCOM, but once I've completed it, I'll then pick up another game with a similar style and play that instead. I still haven't played all the way through Subnautica. So I got it years ago. You know, not when it first came out, but I got it um, you know, fairly early on. But it was on my old PC. And... I did okay at the beginning, but when I got to the lava zone, my PC graphics just crapped out on me. Uh, just a case of, yeah, I can't play this game anymore. And uh, of course I lost the game save. And then when I got the new PC last year, I said if I should get back to uh, playing Subnautica. But I have to start right from the beginning again and go through all the grinding of finding the materials and what have you. And I kind of got, got bored with doing it all over again, so I, I didn't finish it. Similar thing with XCOM. I got all the way through XCOM to the final battle and uh, my PC just crashed out at the same point in the final battle. It's just sort of a okay. Can't do that then. And uh, so while I got to the last battle, I never completed XCOM. Then the other reason I won't complete a game is because I put it down for too long. You know, I'll start playing a game, I'll play it for a few weeks. And then another game comes out that I'm interested in, so I buy that. And I put the first one down, and then I forget all about the first one. And by the time I get back to it, it's sort of... I don't remember where I got up to. That's why World of Warships is kind of a good game because I, yeah, there are times I've got completely bored with playing World of Warships and I've just said, oh, I've had enough. Not played it for six months. But it's a game you can pick up for an hour play two, three battles, and then come back tomorrow. Farm Sim takes a little bit longer, because obviously there's more stuff to do. It's like, I want to finish this field before I uh, quit for the night. Uh, we will do that. Not sure how much longer we've got to do on this one. Let's do... No, come on, keep going. And we're at 81%, that's good. A little bit more, try not to hit the fence, and lift, gauge reverse, back up. Gauge forwards, and turn around. The thing on the right of us looks like a silage bunker, but it's full of wood. 
So there's, there was another thing that looked like a silage bumper on this map that wasn't. I think there's, there's a lot of placeables on this map that aren't functional. So silage bunkers, fuel tanks. Thankfully, the, uh, the silo at the main yard works. Be nice if the gas tank in the main yard also worked. I think that there's no fuel available on this map as far as I found. I was actually wondering whether the fuel tank was maybe a placeable, a fillable, repla if, yeah, a fillable, replaceable, uh, placeable, sorry. So you can put fuel in it so that it's convenient, but every so often you have to go out and buy fuel, but there's nobody, nowhere else on the map to buy fuel from, so kind of a problem. Ninety-four percent good. So six thirty. use this band of tractor that often. I don't know much about it. But, uh, not been a frequent uh, not made much of an appearance in my uh, in my uh, playthroughs. Uh, here we are. Okay, let's run the diagonal. at the top. That's good. <coughs> oh, we're done. <coughs> and we are 40,000. Yes. Still open. Put our little tractor away. Thank you. 
jump out, close the door. How's the chickens? Are you making a mess yet? Nope, no mess. So, cows, chickens, chickens have five. Five chickens plus one, two, three, four more. So we've got nine chickens now, nice. And of the two kilogram chickens, that one's expecting, that one's expecting. Expecting five, six, seven. So seven, those four are all female, and two of those are male. So the two that are male, we're going to sell eventually. Eight litres of eggs. I don't know if somehow the map creator has actually got uh, animal cleanliness mod included in the uh, in the map because we are getting nothing here, and I've got nothing in the way of a cleanliness mod running. Okay. I should chop parts of this tree down so I can find the desk deck chairs. Okay, let's speed that up, get to eight o'clock. We'll take sleep the night and I'll go and check on our fields and see whether we got any growth. Dun, 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 ding, dun. Okay. Nope, that's not the right button. That would be the right button. Sleep until 8 o'clock? Yeah. Good for it. Ding. <coughs> There's rain. There's no rain. Okay. Game is synchronizing. There's more rain. Oh, darn. I guess we're not doing much this morning. Well, that looks like we've got stuff in our fields. Yep. We have stuff. This field has stuff. So that means actually the growth on this is low enough. We can probably run through this with the uh, the solid fertilizer. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And down the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we got another dude. And <coughs> food is going down faster. <coughs> One years old. So I don't know how old chickens have to be before they start laying eggs, but. Uh, the fields. Fruit type. So growth stage one. Fertilization. I have to put the last stage on that. I could use the trail thing. I could buy a liquid sprayer. If I bought a liquid sprayer I could deal with these weed patches here. I don't think there. We do not have any failure to germinate, so we've actually been quite successful with the uh, crop this year. Um, it's raining now, so we shouldn't have an issue with um, dead crop, 
at least not at the moment from drought. That's a lot of fields need ploughed. But yeah, you see this field has a fair amount of bunch of fields with a lot of weeds in. Still don't think it's significant enough, but you know, you look at a field like this and it's sort of yeah, why bother? Uh, whereas a field like this, you're kind of getting to the point where I might want to consider um, herbicide on that field now. My field, this field has what's it, a patch of weeds there. This field has pretty much nothing. I think these patches of weeds are in the uh, the strip between the two fields, but we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got a couple of patches of weeds here. If we get much more so that the field starts looking like that, I'd consider then putting herbicide down on that field. Okay, uh, nothing to worry about there. It's all our equipment. Big box. Okay, how much are eggs worth and where do you sell them? Them's valuable eggs. Good grief. Is that eggs? Yeah. Wow. That's nice. Actually, the uh, the wool's kind of valuable as well. What? Okay. Uh, we're on normal difficulty, so uh, yeah, this this uh, map has some interesting uh, economy going on. I mean, that for wool. Oh no, 1300, 1400. If I multiplied that by 4, yeah. no, that's still, that's still kind of okay. But eggs, good grief. I don't, I don't recall eggs being that valuable in the past, but I haven't paid much attention to them, I must admit. How are we doing? For the most part, we are making money. We lost a fair amount there because we bought the land. But we are turning a profit. We're back down below 40,000, but no worries. There are more contracts coming up. Is that the potato? Yeah, that's the potatoes. Just for seeding barley on ninety six. Kind of a big field, but uh, okay, whatever. Anyway, it's getting on, so I'm going to call this stream done. I think. Thank you for watching. Um, as I said, it's Thanksgiving Day weekend coming up, so I've got a four day break, so I may be stepping up on the number of uh, daytime streams I run. Um, I'm seriously considering putting in some uh, extra time into Law Folds and try and wind that series up as soon as I can. But in the meantime, have a good evening, have a good day tomorrow, and have a good Thanksgiving if you're not watching when I am around. But for now, I'm out of here.